Hi, welcome to 7 Facts, the channel where you'll find hundreds of videos related to every and all of the world's countries. In today's episode, we're going to talk about New York as part of the series dedicated to the states and territories of the United States. Before we begin, please remember to subscribe. I upload brand new videos twice a week on Wednesday and Saturday, so subscribing will pay off. New York and its capital were both named in honor of the 17th century Duke of York and Albany, James Stewart. Later, he would become the King of England, Ireland and Scotland as James II and VII respectively, and when he was deposed in 1688, he became the last Catholic monarch of the British kingdoms. James had been named earlier as the proprietor of the former territory of New Netherland and its main city of New Amsterdam by his older brother, King Charles II, after it had recently been seized from the Dutch. The city of Ithaca in New York is worth mentioning here. First, it is the North American seat of Tenzin Gyatso, the 14th and current Dalai Lama. Second, it's one of the few places in America with a local currency. It's called the Ithaca Hour and it's an actual paper currency circulating alongside the dollar bill. Established in 1991, it's a legal tender which can be used within the city. One Ithaca Hour bill is worth about $10, which approximates the average hourly wage in Tompkins County. And again, yes, the bills are accepted by most of the local businesses, from restaurants and grocery stores to even bowling alleys and hospitals. Where is Niagara Falls? In Canada, right? Yeah, but it's also in New York. The famed Niagara Falls waterfalls straddle the border between Ontario and New York. They're part of the Niagara State Park, the oldest state park in the United States. On both sides of the border and the river, you'll find two distinct cities, both named Niagara Falls, with one being American and the other Canadian. The American city has been dubbed the honeymoon capital of the world, so it might be worth checking it out. Adirondack State Park is probably the largest park you've never heard of. Established in 1892 to preserve the forests and waterways of New York, it stretches along 24,000 square kilometers, about the size of Macedonia. This makes it the largest protected area in the contiguous United States. To put that in perspective, the Adirondack Park is larger than Yosemite, Yellowstone Glacier, Grand Canyon and the Great Smokies National Parks combined. It's even larger than some American states like Connecticut, New Jersey or New Hampshire. Toilet paper. It might not be the most elegant topic to discuss, but it is a vital part of the modern world. Before it came along, people have been using sponges, sticks, stones, grass and even their bare hands to wipe their bottoms. But with the rise of the published newspapers in the 18th century, people started using paper to cleanse themselves. Until 1857, when New Yorker Joseph Gayetti invented the modern toilet paper. He was the first to produce the stuff and marketed it as medicated paper for the water closet. Originally, the paper contained aloe as a lubricant and was marketed as an anti-hemorrhoid medical product. Be that as it may, Gaetti's invention has quite literally changed the world for the better. New York City is not the capital of the state, that title goes to the city of Albany. To be fair, New York was once a capital, but not of the state, but of the entire United States. In fact, it was America's first ever capital city. Albany, on the other hand, was the first European settlement in the state, founded by the Dutch in the 17th century as Beverwijk. Once the British took over the area, they renamed it Albany in honor of the Duke of York and Albany. Today, it remains to be one of the oldest surviving settlements of the original British 13 colonies. Albany, by the way, is the anglicized version of the Scottish Gaelic name for Scotland, Alba. 
Unsurprisingly, New York City is the biggest city in New York State in terms of area. But with a population of nearly 9 million people, it's definitely the largest city in the entire United States. In fact, you won't find a larger city anywhere north towards Canada or west, and you'd have to go all the way to Mexico's capital, Ciudad de Mexico, to find a larger city than this one. To put this in context, about 1 in every 38 Americans lives in New York. 39 of the 50 American states have less people than this city alone. Furthermore, if either Brooklyn or Queens would be separate cities, they would both rank as the fourth largest in the entire United States. And we're done. These were 7 facts about New York. I hope you enjoyed the video enough to leave a like and subscribe. Don't forget to leave a comment downstairs and also check me out on Facebook and Twitter. Wanna help even more? Go see my Patreon page and become a patron of this channel. I hope to see you next time. Bye.